Yeah. It's a little bit more than that. Four is a little bit more than three. That is true. Uh, let's take a look. We've got um, CD bisecting BCE. So we know that these two angles are congruent. And then it says CB bisects ACD. So we know that these two angles are congruent. What we're being asked to prove is that angle 1 and angle 2 are congruent. So I want you to consider this for a second. What do we know angle 1 is congruent to right away? Angle 1 is definitely congruent to angle 3 because of the bisection. What is angle 2 congruent to right away? Angle 3. We've got two things that can, are congruent to the exact same thing. That's like saying... Mr. Michelson has the same amount of money as Miss Brady, and Mr. Herman has the same amount of money as Miss Brady. If Mr. Michelson and I both have the same amount as the same person, what can we conclude about each other's money? We have the same amount. This is called the transitive property. This is a really, really useful property in mathematics. And it states, if two, thing, two angles are congruent to the same angle, then they're congruent to each other. If two angles or segments, but if two angles are congruent to the same angle, then they are congruent to each other. So notice what you've got to prove in order to use this transitive property. You need to show that angle 1 is congruent to angle 3, and you need to show that angle 2 is congruent to angle 3. Now in your reading tonight, there'll be some variations on this transitive property. For example, you might be given that this angle is congruent to this angle, and that this angle is congruent to this angle, and that this angle is congruent to this angle. This is an example where two angles, these outside ones, hold up, hold up. Two angles are congruent to these two angles, and these two angles happen to be congruent. This is a variation of the same property. This states if two angles are congruent, two congruent angles. This one's congruent to this one, this one's congruent to this one, but these two we know to be congruent. Then they're also congruent. So it's the same property, just a slightly different situation where you might find it. So I think in this one, you're going to show that they're bisection, then you're going to show they're congruent. Bisection, congruent. So I think this has got to be five steps. You need five steps for this one using the transitive property. Now, there's... Another theorem you're going to read about tonight, and that's the substitution property. You can expect a short little assessment or something to that effect between the difference between the substitution property and the transitive property. And the reason is, is that every year students get those mixed up. The transitive property and the substitution property. Make sure before you come in tomorrow, you know what's similar about these two and what's different, because they are different, and a lot of people misuse them. So you want to make sure you're not one of those people. When's the next test? Friday. Next test is Friday.